Well, hi everybody, Scott Kelby here, and this is part two of a three-part series on making photo books. The first part was on making photo books in iPhoto, and this all came from a blog post on the Photoshop Insider, which is scottkelby.com. And I was showing how I made these photo books in iPhoto. Today, we're going to show you how to make them uh, in Lightroom. So you start by choosing a collection of photos, and here are the photos that I used from my trip to uh, Egypt and Istanbul and Greece, which is what started this whole thing. And I'm over here in the print module, which is where we're going to build our layouts. So you start by choosing which size paper you want. You click over here on page setup. We're going to choose 8.5 by 11 paper, which is in standard size. And then, uh, well, standard size here in the U.S. And then we're going to click on the... Uh, Sideways. I want the, all the pages to be sideways, uh, to be um, horizontal or, or landscape, and click OK. Now, a couple things you need to do. Go up here and turn off Rotate to Fit. That's step one. Step two is we want to make it look like the Apple Book layouts. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the margins. And uh, one of the margins, uh, one of the layouts that was very popular is one that adds about two inches to the left, two inches to the right, and it moves the page slight, the photo slightly up on the page. So you go to the left margin, and we're going to move it to around two inches. Somewhere right in there, we're going to move the right margin somewhere right in there to around two inches. And if you can't dial it in exactly, you can always come over here and just type in 2.05 or 2.000 and put it in that way. Now we're going to move the bottom up a little bit so there's a little less room. All right. And let's choose a different photo, one that was more like what we had in iPhoto. There we go. Now, you can always use iPhoto for a reference. Uh, so I went over to iPhoto, which I had on here to see, well, there's my layout, and it's got a couple of lines of text under it. So I can come over here and say, well, that's, that's pretty darn close. Let's look at it again. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty getting there. Let's go back to Lightroom. To add some text, there is text that you can just add here like the photo info, but it's kind of stuck there. So instead, what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to Identity Plate and add your text this way. Just click on Identity Plate, go up here to Edit, and type in the text you want. So this is... Uh, the town of Lindos. Choose your, your color and stuff. I'll choose uh, black for my color for my text. You choose your font and then click OK. And here's your text here. You can control the size actually afterwards. So the ch point size you choose isn't that important, but that's a little large actually. So we'll scale it down a bit. And if you need to add multiple lines of text, you can just add them right in there as well. So that's a single photo layout. What if it's a multi-photo layout? So let's let's choose that now. Let's choose two photos. How about this photo and this photo? So now I have two photos selected, but of course you only see one. Let's hide the identity plate. Go back up here to columns, and we'll make it two columns. There we go. And we need some space between the photos. So go down here to cell spacing and just increase the amount of space, and you've got another layout. We can change photos. Let's switch to that layout. And then you can, of course, add your text. So you can go over here to the identity plate, turn it on, and there's your text. Now, so it's very much like what we had in iPhoto. The, and so it's very flexible. It's very easy to do. The problem here is there's no black background option. So what I would do is, if I wanted a black background, since I want to save these as JPEGs anyway, I mean, I want to save each page individually and assemble the book, you know, like send it to MPix is what I would do. So turn off Identity Plate and just say Print to File. So now you're going to save this as a JPEG. All right, you're going to go here. It's going to be saved as a JPEG file. I'm going to turn my print sharpening on. I'm going to click Print to File, and we'll call this page two. Whoops page 2 and hit save. So it's going to save it as a JPEG. So for me to put a black background on it's going to actually take me going over to Photoshop. So any pages that I'm going to, you know, have as want a black background on, here we'll save that out and it saves down to my desktop. Here's the file I just saved. I would open it in Photoshop. I would open it in Photoshop, get the magic wand tool, select the background. Just click once, it selects everything but the photos, and then just fill it with black. Just choose fill with black. Of course, you use the shortcut is what I would really do. There's your page, and then just save, 
and close. Or now, now you would actually add your text. You'd go to white here, choose the same font that you used over there. Let's wait for the font list to come up here. Unfortunately, I have a lot of fonts, so the first time I use it, it takes just a minute. Choose the same font here. And uh, there's Helvetica. Make it white. And uh, I think 190 points might be a bit much. And we'll just type it in right here, whatever you want. And you can add you know, as many lines of text or whatever you like. So that's just a quickie on how to set these layouts up in Lightroom with a little help from Photoshop on pages we want to be black.